very good morning to everybody. Honorable Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Parameshwar Nair, Director for School of Distance Education from the University, a respected President of the CDMEA, Janam K. Abdul Qadir Sahib, My dear uh, principal of the institution, K. Sahib Training College, Dr. K. Abdul Rahman, and dear colleague, and this is Mini C. Saragan, Associate Professor of K. Sahib Training College, and my dear brothers and sisters, why did you select this topic? There are so many different topics. There are topics like IT education, then topics on information technology, and topics on some uh, modern theories and concepts. Still, why did you select such a topic, an outdated topic, some old fashioned topic? I I happened to get some uh, such questions whenever I was uh, describing about the uh, seminar which is going to be the hell a case I train point. Whenever I told about the seminar to any one of my friends or to any one of uh, the academic people, this question was there. Why do you select such a topic? Actually, I have selected such a topic because of such questions. You can uh, listen to such questions echoing at the air. All the people feel that such topics are outdated. Because we have become some modern. We have mistaken modernity. Actually, it is the factor. We have a tradition. As India, we have a tradition. The tradition which cannot be seen at any world in the world. Our ancestors were ready to accept virtues from the cultures of others. They kept some adoptable mentality. They are able to adopt different types of principles from foreigners as well as uh, the people uh, of the country itself. So when the Aryans came to India, they were ready to accept. There was no conflict. Then after that, there was Buddhism. When Buddha came with some uh, different, uh, different principles, uh, the people of India were ready to accept the principle. Uh, then came the uh, Muslims. If the people of the country of that time was uh, were not able to accept uh, Muslims, I think nowadays you cannot see even a single Muslim in this country. It's different from Pakistan. Actually, I am Muslim. I don't want to go to Pakistan because I think this is the uh, most uh, apt country for a Muslim to dig India. So we had a tradition. Then come the traditions. Still, the people were ready to accept the virtues of uh, the British. The modern education, we accept the modern education. But the fact is that even when they were ready to accept the modernity, the modern concepts, something different from the traditional concepts, they were not ready to give up the traditional values. But nowadays, uh, people want to make their children uh, your English language. All the people are sending their children to some English medium schools. They not only want uh, to teach their uh, children English language, but also they want to make them, uh, make their uh, children a real English people. So nowadays we cannot live without uh, Facebook. We cannot live without WhatsApp. 
we cannot uh, live without some uh, uh, some European uh, cultures, some fast food cultures. But I am not against uh, uh, against Facebook or WhatsApp. But the matter is that we should not forget the cultural the culture and the tradition and the values of our country when we are accepting some modern concepts. We are running behind uh, Sigmund Freud for getting some psychological theories. And these modern theories uh, have emerged or originated in uh, European countries and the most of the people who are not getting any sort of peace of mind are living in European countries. And we are accepting the modern theories, the psychological theories uh, put forth by some European people. But we have forgotten that some uh, modern psychological theories were there in the characters created by the Vedanada Tabu. If you read the story written by the Vedanada Tabu, the title uh, form coming, you can see beautiful literature on adolescence. And we are thinking about our physical uh, uh, diet, our physical development, and we are looking to some people can say, hey, but if you think about Adalindo, you can see some sort of integral yoga, which is a part of physical education. And we are thinking about some modern motivational classes. And if you read Gita, I think Bhagavad Gita is the uh, best motivational story you can uh, give to your children. Because Arjuna was not ready to fight against Adam, then Krishna gives some motivation. So we have forgotten all these items. So we have to stand. We have to stand full on our base. Without base, there is no, there is no beauty. We have to uh, collect some values from our past. Then we have to build our future. As I told, we want to send our students to some English medium schools. Not only for learning English language, but also for uh, imitating their dress code, imitating their manners. Manners which are something very peripheral, I think, which is not coming out of the heart. But you know, uh, one person uh, went to America by wearing some uh, the dress of some sannyasis, okay. Uh, some, uh, uh, some yellow clothes or some of the clothes which are uh, uh, worn by some sannyasis with a turban and then he started speaking in English language and the Europeans were shocked and he started just like this my dear brothers and sisters actually the Europeans use some peripheral uh, usages for addressing people just like uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, or Mrs. and Mr. and Mrs. But this person called Swami Vivekananda went to America and when he started speaking by using these words from the depth of his heart, my dear brothers and sisters, the whole country was shocked. And he was speaking in English language, not by wearing some European clothes. And once he told a woman uh, from the America, Madam, in your country, it is the tailor besides the personality of a person, but in my country, it is the act. So we have to accept modern things, but there should be a sort of th synthesis. Means a combination of East and West. We have to accept the traditional values of India. Honesty, tolerance, simplicity, just like this one, okay. Without giving up these values, we can accept the uh, virtues of morality. So, uh, here we are organizing a seminar on synthesis is our tradition. Maybe it's something outdated, but I don't feel that this is a topic which is outdated. When I was a pretty student, I happened to study one essay called Synthesis is, a Synthesis is Our Tradition, which was a speech delivered by 
the first Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru. He was speaking about accepting the modern uh, modernity without giving up our traditional culture. So I may, uh, I, I may not want to extend my speech because uh, this is the inaugural session. Already we are a little bit late. So I may enter my duty. Actually, we have to think about our values, my dear brothers and sisters. We are, we are crying. We are crying out of uh, the, uh, the value crisis which we are seeing among the youngsters of our country. Actually, we are the real reason behind such uh, immoral activities in the society because we have given up the education which was put forth by the great leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Thabo, Arvindo, Vivekananda, and Allah Iqbal. So we have to make a voyage back to the uh, tissues of our culture and the traditional values. So uh, the inaugural session is uh, uh, going to be started here. So uh, today we have got some eminent personalities, and uh, this uh, seminar is going to be inaugurated by Dr. Parameshwaran Te the director of School of Distance of Education, Kanpur University. Actually, when I went to this person, uh, I was a little bit uh, confused and worried uh, because uh, I am an ordinary teacher from a B.A. college and uh, uh, he is an office chair of the university. But when I uh, went to this person, actually, he accepted me by uh, keeping the culture of our tradition. He welcomed me and then he told me that uh, it was a very good topic because it's a topic which is in the need of uh, the present uh, situation, the present social scenario. So uh, on, behalf, on behalf of the college, on behalf of the organizing committee, uh, I may welcome Dr. Parameshan uh, uh, to this function. Now this function will be presided over by the principal of KSI Training College, Dr. K. Abdul Rahman. Actually, uh, he has uh, uh, recently taken charge of the principal. Actually, he is the assistant associate professor in charge of the principal because uh, our principal, Mr. Ashraf P.P., is on uh, FIP reputation. Uh, so I want to uh, mention the name of Dr. Ashraf P. Uh, Mr. Ashraf P. P. too because uh, when I, I started the procedures of this seminar, uh, he gave me uh, all her to support and uh, every kind of instruction. So uh, Dr. Abdul, uh, K. Abdul Rahman is there. Actually, I was fortunate because this is the first time I am organizing. Actually, I am uh, the convener of uh, uh, a UGC sponsored national seminar, but these people have got some experience, so it was very easy for me because uh, uh, I have to act just by following the instructions and addresses given by all these people. So I may, uh, I may welcome Dr. K. Abdul Rahiman to this function. And now we have got some uh, experienced person there, Janab K. Abdul Qadar Sahib. You please uh, look at this person. Even after becoming, even after crossing the age of uh, I think more than 80 years, still he keeps some, uh, some vigor and enthusiasm. Or well, I think he is 89 years old. And he is keeping some vigor and enthusiasm, I think, uh, more than the enthusiasm and vigor which we are keeping at this uh, young, younger age. So, uh, this is uh, our tradition. Actually, they are accepting some modernity. At the same time, they are keeping some traditional lifestyle. So, we have got Tanakya Abdul Qadar Sai, the president of Canonistic uh, Muslim Educational Association, for uh, giving us some uh, felicitation. A few words will be delivered by uh, Janab K. Abdul Qadar Sahib. So, I may welcome Janab K. Abdul Qadar Sahib with all the type of humility. Now actually, uh, different persons uh, should have been there, 
So because of the, some inconvenience or because of some engagement, they have in there, the, uh, General K. Mohammed Kunisai, the General Secretary of CBMA, then General C. Khan, engineer, I think he will be there uh, uh, shortly. Then General Mahmoud Arman, uh, I think he is the new uh, municipal chairman and I think there is a council, so he cannot attend the function before me. So with the, uh, in the absence, I welcome all these people and again I want to uh, remember the name of our manager, PCP Mahmoud Haji. I think he is uh, under a treatment, so he cannot come to the function. Uh, he was uh, really a support behind all these activities. And he, he, was, uh, he had expressed his desire for coming to the function. Even now, he wants to come to the function, but we are not ready to carry him to the function because uh, uh, he is under treatment and in his absence, uh, I welcome General uh, PCP Mahmoud Haji to this function. And the word of thanks will be offered by Mrs. Minisi Karagat. And again, uh, I, was, I, I am fortunate to have some experienced teachers here. So I have mentioned the cooperation and support, the instructions, the advices given by all these teachers. And KSI Training College is a family. And all these teachers were giving some support. So I, uh, I may welcome Mrs. Minisi Saragat, Associate Professor of KSI Training College, to this function. <laughs> then, actually, the real force behind my confidence. Uh, before that, I have to welcome the paper presenters and delegates from different colleges. Uh, actually, we uh, have started a website, then most of them registered online by using our website. Then some people have come uh, this morning and they have registered manually. And all these people have accepted our invitation. So with all the types of humility, I welcome all the people who have come from different colleges to this function. Okay. Then I, told, I, I have told that the real force behind my confidence, my students, I think uh, students are behind the confidence of a teacher. I feel that my students always give me all the sort of uh, sorts of confidence because they are asking some questions inside the classroom and whenever we are, uh, we are seeking some cooperation and assistance. They are giving the full culture assistance and cooperation. And sometimes they are giving some advices. Actually, we have to accept advices from our students. When I was creating the program schedule, I got some advices from my students. When we were arranging the stage, when we were uh, preparing uh, the flexes, when we were preparing the PowerPoint presentations, we got some advices from our students. So I welcome all the students, the senior batch, uh, the students of 2014-15, as well as uh, the present students, the students of 2015-17 batch, uh, from, my, from the depth of my code to the function, I thank my speech. Thank you.